Hey, what's up, guys? It's Sammy, aka I want to kill King Joffrey myself personally with my bare hands. And this episode, we're going to be going over getting the diamond LMGs. And to be honest with you, this is a bit of a relief for me from going straight from the diamond sniper rifles to this because it didn't require you to be quite as accurate and you can get away with missing perhaps say the first 10 shots and then finally get the kill. I had some of my highest scoring games playing with these LMGs and it was a lot of fun. So anyway, if we get on with the first challenge, it's to get 100 headshots with the LMGs. I would recommend using some sort of sight just to help you get a bit of a clearer view on your target. Maybe something like the EOTech. I wouldn't really recommend the red dot sight for some of them just because there's a lot of a muzzle flash with the weapon so you really can't see what you're shooting at. I really like using the variable zoom scope and the dual band scope, I thought they worked really well. Alternatively you could put a suppressor on, I know especially the QBB benefits a lot from it because it completely cuts out the muzzle flash and to be honest with you, quite a lot of the LMGs have quite decent iron sights. So you will lose a bit of range but you'll make up for it by keeping off the radar and actually being able to uh, see what you shoot at, so it's up to you. So when you're actually going for the headshots with the LSAT and MK48 I'd say if you get the opportunity just aim for the head. With the QBB and the hammer they tend to kick up a bit, the QBB goes straight up so maybe aim sort of at the chest area just around the neck so when you do finally get the kill it'll carry up towards the head. And with the hammer it's got sort of weird recoil because it, it kicks up quite a bit at the beginning and then sort of slows down to become quite accurate. So once you've got these challenges done the rest of them are going to open up for you. The first ones I recommend going for are the Cherry Blossom and Art of War camos which are to go for 150 kills with new attachments and to go with 150 kills with no perks. I'd recommend going for them together at the same time just because it's a lot of kills and otherwise it's going to take you 300 kills to get through. And to be honest with you the LMGs are really capable weapons anyway even without any perks and attachments. So because you're not going to be using any perks or attachments I'd recommend you load up on wild cards and just extra tacticals and lethals. Also if you use overkill you can make use of an assault shield so you can use it for a bit of cover from behind or you can place it down and use it for a, a cover so you can see people through it. If you go this option then perhaps use trophy systems and shock charges just to give you a warning on when enemies are coming and you can use the trophy systems just because they're going to protect you from all the projectiles that will get chucked away because you won't have flak jacket to protect you so why not spend points on this. I did release a video the other day which pretty much covered this mainly so I'm going to post that at the end of the video so you can check that out if you need any more help with this. Alternatively you could use something like the FHJ launcher just to take out all the UAVs and count UAVs which can give you a better idea of where the enemy is coming from and also give you some points towards your score streaks. So once you've got those 150 kills out of the way, I recommend you start going for the 10 bloodthirsty medals. This is most likely going to be your hardest challenge, so I'm going to give you a recommended class for it. I'd recommend using flat jacket and tack mask for the combination of just giving you a lot of protection from people hurling stuff at you. Scavenger as well is useful just for replenishing all your ammo and as well as your lethals and tacticals. Speaking of which, you're probably going to want to bounce in bet in a shock charge which is going to cover the back of where you're going to be uh, posted up and also maybe killing people if you're lucky. As for the actual guns, I'd recommend a laser sight. I know you might think I'm crazy but it actually does make uh, the gun quite decent in close quarters. It's not going to beat out the submachine gun most of the time but it's going to give you a fighting chance. And also some sort of sight. I really really like the dual band scope and the variable zoom scope and also it sort of allowed you to be a lot more competitive at a longer range and I think that's really the strong point of the LMGs because in this game uh, like compared to previous Call of Duties their recoil is quite relatively low so they're actually better than rifles at long range so I think in order to get these blood thirsties I'd really recommend keeping it at range and also with the dual band scope it's, I think it's just better than the target finder mostly but the target finder is still good if you want to use the target finder go ahead and use that I play a lot of demolition I was finding I was getting most of my bloodthirsties on defensive rounds of demolition just sort of posting up near one of the bombs and just watching over one or possibly two flanks if they're close to each other and you do get quite a lot of kills but make sure there's no one sneaking up on you that's what your bouncing betties and shock charges are for so make sure you put them somewhere where you think your enemy is going to be coming from in case you don't know what a bloodthirsty medal is it's basically the medal you get when you kill five enemies within one life you have to get five kills with your LMG but if you got one kill with say a uh, Bouncing Betty as long as you get an extra kill with your LMG then it should all be fine. So the final two medals you want to get is the 20 double kill medals and the 10 long shot medals. I really wouldn't worry about these too much, um, that's why I, I talked about them last. 
you're probably going to get them as you're going through all the other challenges but if you're having any trouble with them the double kills you may be going to have to play a bit more aggressively perhaps maybe take off the site and maybe just just get in there down and dirty because that's the only way you're going to get them maybe use attack insert uh, get close to the enemy just so you know you can't be camping in cordons if you want double kills you've got to be up in the spawns you might die a lot but if you're good enough you're going to get them and for the long shot medals i'm going to show you a short clip here just to show you the roundabout the range you're going to need to be so it's not really that far and to be honest with the lmgs it's sort of the range you want to be playing mainly most of the time so just play it around that range and you should get them done in no time as a final tip i just want to let you know how effective the lmgs are through walls because believe me they just smash through walls especially the mk48 and the lsat so don't be afraid to just shoot through walls if you think there's someone there because quite often you're going to get the kill and to be honest with you fmg doesn't really help that much so you can use it if you want but i really i just found they were penetrated walls good enough without it so other than that guys thank you for watching and i'll see you next time bye bye now bye bye